Hey guys. Okay, so tomorrow is the last day. So yeah. Um Arias mother called nine one one and reportedly confessed to killing Oria when she couldn't strangle the girl. She stabbed her to death instead. Family said she was stressed due to Oria's possible autism and a recent eviction notice. Um that was day 23. Day 24. Um, this five-year-old boy was found dead in his apartment. Police believe that his mother, who had to be hospitalized after a suicide attempt, smothered Timothy Pillow. Day 25. This 11-year-old boy's mother told police she had lost sight of him and he had gotten lost, but the next day his body was found on the banks of a river. He had been murdered. Police who suspected his mother of killing him arrested her and soon reported that she had Admit to killing her son because she couldn't deal with him anymore. Wait. Day 26. Hayden went missing and two days later was found dead in a wood area near his home. Court documents state that he had gotten into a fight with his cousin over his cousin's girlfriend, and his cousin told his sister that Hayden would be dead by the end of the day. Then his cousin and eight other people allegedly kidnapped Hayden, took him to the woods, and beat and stabbed him to death. Day 27. This 15-year-old boy who cannot be named because his parents have not been located was staying with his aunt and uncle when he was found dead. When authorities saw the marks on his body, his aunt and uncle were arrested and charged with murder. Day 28. After a man called 911 saying he had killed his family and was going to kill himself, police responded to his address and found the whole family shot dead. Matthew, the youngest at 34, was autistic. His mother, Lisa, 60, and grandmother, Bernadette, had chronic illness. They had all been killed by their caregiver who died by suicide before police arrived. The family lived in a quiet mobile home park well liked by their neighbors, one of whom says she used to call Bernadette Grandma. The family had recently added a ramp to their home so that Bernadette and Lisa could maneuver in and out of them easily. Wait. Sorry guys, I keep forgetting. Okay, and this is today's. Joshua's body was found in his home. He had not been taken to the doctor despite his declining health and his mother said she had given him only bread and soft drinks to eat. 
Joshua had been kept in the house with the windows covered and had not been allowed to attend school. This is going to be... Wait, no. This is going to be tomorrow's. Bye, guys.